Hello guys, and welcome back to my discussers. My name is Anderson, and today, uh, I'm going to be looking at Hershey Park's, uh, lineup, their coasters, their whole park, uh, as I'm probably going to be visiting the park in the next few years. Uh, let's start off by saying, cool intro, if you want to check out the original, is going to be played on other videos, uh, check that out, it should be on the page, uh, and, uh, another Hershey Park video will be coming out tomorrow, so if you saw yesterday, and you saw this one, definitely check out tomorrow's video. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Uh, before we start, uh, remember to subscribe, you can see that little button down at the bottom. Uh, just go below the video, click the red button, uh, and if you decide to change your mind later, just, that's fine. Uh, anyway, let's get straight into today's video. Uh, so, I'm first going to talk about their coasters. They have a lineup of 13, 14, if you count the lightning racers, uh, I guess red, like, but if you count both sides. Um, and big ones, obviously, include Skyrush, Pandemonium, uh, Great Bear Fahrenheit, uh, Storm Runner, I'm pretty sure. So those are the big coasters that you're going to want to see when you visit Hershey Park. How good are they? Um, I would say the difference between Hershey Park and Six Sides Park, um, I'll use my home one, uh, Six Sides Park America, as an example. They have three or four big coasters. I mean, it depends exactly what you look at. You got Max Force, Rage, and Goliath, but past that, then you've just got filler coasters, okay? Now, Hershey Park does not have that. Uh, I mean, the same could be said with Cedar Point. Uh, they've got a decently good uh, invert, so that might not even be count as uh, a filler, but besides that, you got Fahrenheit, which is a good uh, inverting coaster. Uh, you got Candemonium, which is a good hyper, and you got Skyrush, which is an intense hyper, not focused on the air that's two hypers, both doing something totally different. Then you got Storm Runner, which gives you a really fast launch, and that's always uh, probably probably fun to ride. Um, and I think they cover all of the big bases, and then you got a pretty large lineup, uh, not as big as Six Flags Great America, but their lineup seems to, at least for me, have a decent, more better, better quality. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, I would say the, the rest of their coasters aren't as good as Six Flags Great America, they're not as good as Superman Ultimate Flight, X Flight, uh, the American Eagle, and Viper, but uh, they are still good. You know, Lightning Racer is probably fun. I say this all just before going, so think about that. Just make make sure you think about that. But their coaster lineup is a good coaster lineup, and that's what you look for. You look for not only a top three, but a top five good coasters. Um, and the same can be said for Cedar Point with their big four and two. Uh, and a bunch of other amazing rides. Uh, so, what about what 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 other things should I be looking for when I'm going to Hershey Park? Well, from the looks of it, uh, the place looks stunning. Uh, the, there's not it doesn't look like there's a ton of theming uh, unless you count chocolate as a theme, which I guess it is. Um, I just think this park is going to be fantastic. I think it will rank above uh, Six Flags Great America. It'll rank above. Pretty much all of the Six Flags parks, maybe the only exception being Six Flags Magic Mountain. This park features uh, three or three to four um, really top tier coasters and a great uh, four or five to follow that. Um, from what I've seen and from what I've seen uh, online and on their website, you know, you look, they have a water coaster, which is, I would call filler. They've got a boomerang, they've got a wild mouse, uh, and they've got wildcat which doesn't look very good at all. So I would say they're, they've got low tier coasters and they got lower than even Six Flags Great America. But what they do have uh, is still good and they have a good uh, amount of credits that if you're a coaster enthusiast, you're gonna wanna get. Uh, it also looks like they have some amazing food as that should be expected with a chocolate company. Uh, and I will definitely review this park after I go to it, but this is just my first impressions after looking online and stuff. Um, and overall, if, if, if I get to go here, I'm going to be lucky. If you've been here, you are lucky because this park looks absolutely amazing. It's stunning, it's got good food, and it's got a uh, good coaster lineup. And the future is bright. Uh, already, they might be getting two more B&Ms and expansion. Talked about them in the last video. Definitely check it out if you've not already. Thank you guys for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys next time on Miss Coasters. Thank you. Goodbye.